It is, trust me, you got it. My goal is to make your life a little bit easier. That's all I'm trying to do. Trust me, life's hard enough, man, without somebody like me giving somebody like you shit in public, isn't it? Like, I like to make my life easier, guys. My, I like to look good every day. You probably know what I'm saying. You're a well-dressed, good-looking man. But I'm going to be honest with you, ladies. This shit takes a lot of work. If you shake your head, no, I don't have time to look this good every single day of my life. So what I did is I got rid of every mirror in my house, and I replaced them with pictures of attractive people. So no matter what I look like in the morning, no matter how shitty I feel, I get out of bed, I look into my brand new mirror and I go, damn, you are one good looking black man. <laughs> Wouldn't you take it if I told you I could make your life that much easier? I'm telling you, man, I'll give it to you if you want it. Lower your standards. <laughs> my motto, shoot for the curb and everything above it is gravy. <laughs> look the key to life and to set goals nobody can take away from you. My goal tonight is to go to the bathroom outside my pants. <laughs> Sorry for the visual, everybody, but that's what it is. Now I can go home, look in the mirror, and I go, you are a winner. <laughs> it's a hell of a brain I got spinning here tonight. Trust me, and this is a high-speed brain in action right here. You laugh. You have no idea what I have to do with the look up here like that. You're covered. You're protected. You got a lovely lady, man. But I love to see everybody out here, man. This is cool for me because I love, you know, I love every race and every gender and every age. As a matter of fact, where's my over 65 party people in the house tonight? Make some noise. <laughs> all right, I'm sure you're out there somewhere. You probably didn't hear what I said, that's all. Or... Maybe you're taking a nap with the medication kicked in by the bot then, but. I love older people. Seniors, I love older people. Brothers, senior citizens are crucial to our survival. Senior citizens form a protective layer around society. I mean, without them, scam artists might try and take my money. And uh... <laughs> So thank you, blue-haired guardian. That's all I'm saying. Oh, someday you can protect other people like them, too. Point is, man, if you think about it, there's a role for everybody in society. Everybody fits in somewhere. Like, you know, people get bent out of shape about gay marriages. I'm like, look, this is America. As far as I'm concerned, live and let live to each his own. Besides, if a gay man wants to marry a gay woman, what the hell do I care? <laughs> it might create something we've never seen before. I mean, think about it. What if they get together, have a kid, cancel each other out, and produce a straight guy that can decorate? You love, I love women. I mean, look around the room. There are beautiful ladies everywhere. It's a vision, man. Lovely ladies come out on the big night. I love them all, though, man. I love tall women. I love short women. I love the tall women with the short legs. I love them all. Uh, they're funny looking, but they've been good to me, believe me. Well, so many guys have categories when it comes to women. Like, you guys know the classic types? The guys are like ass men, breast men, leg men, and then you have a guy like me. I'm a, I'm a breathing man, that's how much I love women. <laughs> you don't get me wrong, I mean, I love the asses and I love the breasts and I love the legs, brother, because without those legs, you got asses and breasts all over the ground, and then... It's like five second roll in chaos everywhere, so... You guys know the five second rule, don't you? You're damn right, man. Legally, after six seconds, that's badass on the ground. You can't touch that. Oh, you want to, but you can't look it up. It's the law. Well, you guys see the movie The Sixth Sense? That would have been a good place for an Italian actor, too. Because that little kid would have been considered a rat. <laughs> Think about it. He'd have been like... I see dead people. You're like, hey, shut the fuck up. You don't see nobody. <laughs> You're very damn good. <laughs> Next dead person you're gonna see gonna be you. Figure that out. <laughs> Put you in timeout forever. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, O.J. Simpson ever killed somebody from the Italian family from New Jersey? Shit never would have made it to a trial. Imagine they killed somebody of a Italian family. Judge Eater would have asked the family one time, does the family wish to press charges? <laughs> family would have been like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Let them go. <laughs> we forgive 
them. Better yet, Judge, we'll drive them home from here. Vinay! <laughs> Get the bat, OJ's coming over with us.